and girls, how are you today? I hope you enjoy yourself. Okay, you are welcome to, my name is Mrs. Adela Noye, for teacher. And I'm here for Home Economics class. All right, so we have some practical to carry out. We want to make an apron. And as you all know, that we started this process in the class, but due to time factor, we couldn't complete it. And now we are taking it as a project for this term. So I will just encourage you to watch this video and follow the steps so that you can make your own apron. Remember, the project is 100 marks. So don't joke with it. You have all your materials. And we started the process already. So we we'll still start from the beginning. Then you continue from where you start in class. Is that taking? So make a very good apron so that mommy can use it when cooking in the kitchen. Is that taking? All right. So stay blessed as you watch this video. Time. To cut, to cut the pattern of your apron, you need the brown paper, your tape roll, your scissors, your tailor chalk, and a ruler. Okay, so the first thing, the first step is to measure your length. And in order for you to measure your length, you start from your shoulder to your knee. Tell someone to measure your length from your shoulder to your knee. So my measure, I've measured it before, was 39. So after I measure my length, I will take it to my brown paper. I will measure my length from the edge of my paper. Length, 39. So the length of my paper is 40. So I don't need all the 40. So I will mark it out from there, from 39. There. So in order for me to cut it easily, I'll measure at the middle or so. I'll measure my 29, then the head, the last end of the paper, I will measure 29 again. Okay, so I will make use of my ruler. I will join the lines together. I will join the lines together. So, there's the line. And 39, I've joined it together. I will now cut it out. I don't need that part anymore. So, that's my length. I will trace the line. Make sure your line is very visible. So, after cutting it out, that's all. All right. Then I will fold my paper into two, two equal parts, two equal parts. Then I will measure my bust. Tell someone to do that for you also. So my bust is, um, I'll make, I want to make it with three. My bust is 40. So my 40, I will divide it into four. 40 divided into four will be what? Be 10. Be 10. So get your. You can't divide. I know you are you are in year four now. I believe you should be able to divide. Okay. So my 40. Now fold the paper. From the folded part, I'll put my tape rule and measure the, the 10. You know, I divided the 10, the 40 into, into 4. And my answer was 10. So I'll now place it on the paper. I have my 10 now. The length of my paper is 10. But if you divide yours and it's more than, you need to put your tape roll and your tailor chalk to bring out the, your length, your bust, I mean. Then you cut it out. You don't need that part anymore. Now, after that, my 10 here, I will divide it equally. So 10 divided by 2, that will give us 5. So I'm marking five out. You can place your ten. Look at the middle. So my ten is five divided. My ten divided by two is five. So mark my five here. Then from that my five, 
I put my tape measure 11. Everybody should measure 11, no matter your your height, matter your your stature. So measure 11. I'll measure my 11. 11, and I will join it. 11, I join it. Don't cut it. Remember, I measure five here. From this edge, I'll measure five here too. From down my 11 line, I'll measure the five and join it together to bring out my shape. So that's it. So from that five, from here, this is 11. So I'll just place my, I want to give it shape. I'll just place my tape here, measure like two. Two, then from that five, I'll bring it down. Then I'll put my hand out to the head of my brown paper. This way, to the head. So I'm going to cut this out, the shaping. I'm going to cut it out. So let's cut it out. Let's cut it out. I'm not cutting it straight. Can you see? Then I'll bend my hand to give it shape. Because I want it to have shape. That's where my hand will be. My hand pull. Okay, so I don't want the neck to just be like regular neck. Alright. Okay. After cutting out the hand bow, so the neck is there. Let's leave the neck like this. It's beautiful that way. So let's look at what we cut out. Can you see this our pattern? So once you place it on your clothes. Can you see? Okay, now we want to place this thing. This is our pattern now. We place it on one side. Now let's take our material. This is my material for the apron. I'll fold it into two because my pattern is folded to make it very easy for me and um, for the, for the material, okay? If you know you don't have table, don't worry yourself. You can make use of the floor. You just need to be comfortable while cutting your clothes. So can you see? Make sure that the folded part of your pattern is that the folded part of your material. Don't place it this way, or else you won't get the right result. Okay, so I'll place it. So I'll get my pin. I'll get my pin. Sorry. So make sure you pin it so that it will be very convenient for you to cut out. Whatever you are cutting, pin it together. Make sure it's equal and don't let it fall. Hope you are getting it. In my pattern to my material. It will be very easy for me to cut out. Making the end spot. Okay, it's now time for me to cut my clothes. So I'm going to trace it out exactly like this. Can you see? Okay. 
So I can remove the pin. But before then, we want to cut the stripe for the waist and the stripe for the neck. All right. So I can use this part, the remaining part of my material. I don't really need pattern for that. For my waist, I use all this time. Let me measure it. And then I have, it depends how long you want your stripe for the waist to be. I want mine to be to be around 25. So I have two. Can you see? So 25 long and the width. Because I'm still going to fold it. Four. So by the time I fold it, I saw it to be as wide as this. So width is four and twenty-five long. Uh, no. So let me paste it. For my belt, they will around my waist. I want it to be long. I love a long belt. So twenty-five. Twenty-five. Join the lines together. Join my lines together. Okay. Then this place is a set. And I said four. into the back my belt is ready now for the neck for the neck the neck 15 is okay now let's make it 18 let's make it 18 and the width It falls and cut it out. We need this part. Okay, you can see that the belt is longer than the the waist. The waist by belt is longer than the neck stripe. So don't miss it together. So they are both two. Two. Okay, so it's now time for us to sew. So, if you want to sew, you fold it this way. Let me start with the neck. You will fold it into two equal parts, but you can't sew it this way. If you want to sew it this way, that means you need to turn it, but it will take time. Just hold this edge a bit. Hold this edge a little bit. Join it together. So it will be this way. Then you can now sew. So let's, let me put my thread in my needle and start sewing. Okay, I have my needle and my thread ready now. Okay. So it's time for us to sew. Let me first show you the how to sew the stripe. This is for the neck. The neck is shorter than the stripe for the neck is shorter than the stripe for the waist. Take note. Okay, let me show you. To sew the stripe, you're going to fold this side. So one part needs to be knitting. Put this inside this way. Can you see? Put it inside. If you have an iron, you can iron to make your work very neat. You place this one, fold it a bit, you fold this side a bit, and you join it together. Together this way. This 
space. So once you are sewing, this one will be him. It will be him. So let's start sewing from this edge. So you put your needle, draw your draw it out. Okay. You tack your thread at the end. Okay, put it back. Pull it. So you want to use the seam when run and fell seam, okay? Run and fell. So let me tell you the meaning of run and fell. So you can see that it's out. You put it back again and bring it forward this way and pull it out. Mm -hmm. It will fall again back. Put it back and bring it forward. Can you see? Back again, forward. Back again. Okay, can you see the head that is very smooth? So I've finished to this end. Continue, you come down. That's your run and fell seam. Continue with it. Okay, so you sew it so uh, you get to the hand of the of the material. Mind me, I love a long long thread. <laughs> okay. Remember we are using what type of seam? Run and fair. You go back to the front. It makes your sewing to be tight. So can you see now? See, you get the hand, and you're going to the same way you what you did here. That is what you're going to do here also. You're going to fold this inside so that it can be knit this way. So that's what you're going to do for the stripe of the neck and the stripe on the waist. All right. Now let's go to the so the apron, the main body, the body of the. Of what we are doing today so once you're done you're going to knit in all the edges of your apron too you're going to fold it into two one two can you see and you start sewing using you tie the head of your thread using the same thing run and fair so i'll put it back here it out, come out, and you see, back, out, and you see it, back, out, see it, You have it to be here, all right. You fold it, all right. So that's how you're going to fold everything. So once you have done, then you can start joining. You will join the after you fold this, you join it to the okay. The long one is the belt, you join it to the waist, and the one for the neck, you join it here. So your apron is ready. So the two. So to be here, then you can tie your apron. So I believe you should be able to make your hip run by yourself now. Wow, what is this?
this that one? This is apron. So this is how I want the apron to look like. So I hope you are ready. Just start with it today. Okay? Alright. So see you again. Bye.